how's it going art nerds and welcome back to another video on this channel that some may refer to as the Diddy Mark channel. And in this video on which you gaze upon, I Diddy Dying of Exhaustion Mark, as you most likely probably read from the title, I'm going to be doing a video tutorial that while I admit is a little degenerate in nature, <laughs> it's also one of the highest necessity and importance. See, I'm doing a service here, alright? I'm doing something that no one else wants to do or address, and to be honest, I might as well go ahead and say it's not much of a stretch to call me brave or a hero or whatever. I mean, sure, you can call me amazing but I <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so dumb, bro. But all jokes aside, yes, you read the title right. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you, art nerds, how to draw the female bosom. <laughs> but yeah, I'm making this video not only because of the unusually high request from my audience to teach slash do a video on this, as well as the fact that it's a part of the human body, so just because it's sexualized in society doesn't mean we should run from it. So that being said, we're gonna handle this as tactfully and respectfully as we can. But enough chitty chat, I don't want this intro to be dummy long, so let's go ahead and draw some anime tickle bitty, shall we? Okay, so really quick, we know what this video is about. I mean, I very tactfully told you all in the intro a couple seconds ago, but as for what this video entails in terms of the order of things, well first, I'm gonna start the tutorial off by listing off what skills you as an artist should have in your arsenal before attempting to draw something like this. As you all know by now, Diddy Mark is a huge stickler for not running from your responsibilities and instead getting your fundamentals right first before trying to follow any tutorials that may need you to have certain skills you don't possess yet. The second thing we'll do after I list these necessary skill sets are that I'm gonna give the actual tutorial using all sorts of visual aids that I will draw myself and don't worry I won't draw any nips in this video as I am not an NSFW artist so I don't draw stuff like that therefore I will not teach stuff like that I may be degenerate but I'm not that down bad you know what I mean <laughs> and yeah lastly after all that stuff you art nerds are gonna watch a time lapse of me drawing a character or characters plural from the prison school anime and something extra for some of you really filthy criminals watching the full illustration I do in this video using all I learned from the tutorial will be on patreon as well as two other illustrations of two other characters from another two different anime shows will be on my patreon as well eh? Eh, might as well call me DD Santa Claus and his bitch for how much I'm giving huh <laughs> Okay, so when it comes to drawing boobs, especially if you're a beginner, you need to make sure you have the knowledge of form down. You don't need to be a master, but you do need a good enough understanding of it. Matter of fact, you don't need to be a master for any of these, you just need to know them well enough. But yeah, besides form, you also need to know the human anatomy of the pectoral muscles or chest muscles. And I'll explain why when I get to the actual tutorial part of the video. FYI, I have a video on the male torso anatomy that'll help if you don't know how to draw that, but that's neither here nor there. And last but not least, this isn't really a fundamental thing, but more so something to keep in mind. See this, this is not just any how to draw knockers video, this is a how to draw anime knockers video. But yeah, the thing to keep in mind is, since you're drawing anime melons, I'm assuming you're gonna draw them large-ish, so you need to keep in mind that we're gonna be doing some exaggeration in terms of size and perkiness of varying large sizes, so although we'll stick fairly close to realism in terms of how they move and sit and stuff, you're gonna have to suspend some disbelief in terms of what's physically possible for a woman. But anyways, now it's time for the actual tutorial and to start it off i want to implant a hardcore rule in you guys' minds <laughs> get it implant <laughs> oh, I really am dumb bro, but whatever, I want to implant this rule because from what I see, the opposite of what I'm about to say is the most common mistake I see from beginners when it comes to drawing anime beanbags, and it's that, believe it or not art nerds, women have pectoral muscles under their billy bongs. <gasps> I know right, earth shattering. So yes, when drawing the boobs, it's important to remember that near the shoulder, armpit, and clavicle area is the pectoralis major, and it works the exact same way in women as it does in males, but the difference is, women have that additional mass that sits at the bottom of the pec muscles like so. And the transition from the pecs to this mass is a very smooth one with the mass flowing into the armpits following the shape of the pectoralis major. And yes, this mass I've referred to multiple times by now ladies and art nerds, I'm sure you can all recognize and it's what we in the scientific world call cha-chas. So yes, they sit right at the bottom of the pecs and they vary in size depending on how much the woman's mama gave her. But I point out this key point of the woman's coconuts because unlike what beginner artists tend to believe, they don't just float on a woman's chest or they're not just the equivalent of pecs on guys. It's key to learn how they sit on the chest because it's important to understand how they work. For example, the way the chesticles sit on the chest is the reason that shoulder movements usually control those things. Like if both hands go up, the two jawbreakers go up with it, or if only one hand goes up, only the jigglypuff on that side goes up with it. Another thing that understanding how the tata sit on the pec muscles will do for you is, it'll help you draw a woman's pillows at any size, and since you have this knowledge of how it sits on the pec muscles, you can draw them to sit in a believable way, no matter the angle or position or size, and yes, this is how they still look believable when you see those anime girls that are like 
90% boobs than human. Another key thing about the anatomical structure of women's tamales, and this is one that beginners mess up on a lot as well, is that they protrude outwards, not sit straight and face forward, you know what I mean? So yeah, even if those puppies were fake, because of the rounded shape of the human rib cage, they always point outward. And oh yeah, by the way, this is what they look like from the side as well. Keep in mind, the bigger they are, the more of a fold they have at the bottom, and this is because of the weight of gravity pushing down on them. Last but not least, when it comes to drawing a lady's moo's, the thing you need to more so memorize just from experience and stuff, rather than like anatomy understanding, is their motion and what happens to them when the weight of gravity hits it in different ways. I would go over each and every way they fall and lie and squeeze and squanch in varying positions and stuff, but for the sake of keeping this video short, and also cause this is a beginner tutorial, I won't. But my tip for you if you feel you've got everything I talked about in this video down already and you're ready to move on to the next stage, then I suggest to do a lot of nude figure drawings and eventually you build up a knowledge of how those nectarines look in different positions and angles and stuff. So yeah, with all that said, that's the tutorial portion of this video. Next up, enjoy this time lapse of me drawing the ladies from one of my favorite animes of all time, Prison School, using everything I went over slash taught in this video. And there you go art nerds, that's the final piece. Like I said earlier in the video, if you want the full resolution for this image, it's on my Patreon, the link to that is in the description down below. And again, like I also said earlier, I've got bonus illustrations of two other characters on my Patreons as well as their own time lapses too. So if you're interested in indulging yourself some more in some of the finest cultured material, you know where to look. Thank you all for watching this video, I truly appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end. You must be a person of the finest taste in cultured media if you did. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to my well endowed beautiful patrons for supporting me and supporting this channel. They are the reason I'm able to afford the can of tuna I'ma eat tonight. If you yourself want to support me on Patreon, the link to everything you need is in the description down below. And yeah, don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button as well because that helps out the channel. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to leave a comment because I read all the response to those comments. Till next time, Artners, it is I. Diddy, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, Mark. Peace and love, baby.